Hello, Beat from the Plush here. Back with another video. Today we are going over finally my Five Nights at Freddy's FNAF merch collection for 2024 for May. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This video might be a long one, so I'll try to keep chapters in here. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, to start things off here, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's G1 Sanchi plushies, along with the shoulder riders of a cupcake and then Freddy Fazbear. Next shelf down, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic plushies, alongside the Funko 6 inch plushies, along with the reversible heads, the Hero World, the Pine Size Heroes, the Endo 01, FNAF World inspired, you know, Fight Line figure. And we have Shadow Freddy, Golden Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. And then Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, and re release Foxy. That is Glow and Dark Foxy. Unfortunately, he is broken due to him falling off a shelf, which is very unfortunate. So, like, if he falls off again, it's probably going to damage a lot of stuff. So, I'm hoping that does not happen again. But, yeah. And I got Shadow Freddy recently, so he's a new addition to the collection. Then over here with the FNAF G2 Sanchi plushies, we have Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie. Then we have Jumbo Funko Freddy and Jumbo Funko Bonnie. And we have the Popsies of the Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, F Five Nights at Freddy's Popsies with Golden Freddy, Foxy, and Freddy. It's really cold in my room, I'm sorry. And we have, like, the Five Nights at Freddy's badge from Fat Mojo. We have the, or Sanshi, depending on which one it is, I gotta check. And we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Funko minifigures for FNAF 1. And we had the Rad's Candy Dispenser with Chica and, and Freddy with their awkward smile. Two Five Nights at Freddy's dog tags. I'm going to find a different way to display those. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Bitty Pops Wave 1. We have all of them with, with FNAF 1 gang, FNAF 2 gang. With, well, barely any FNAF 2 with the Cupcake, Toy Cupcake and Balloon Boy. Springtrap, Nightmare Cupcake, The Nightmares and Sister Location. Base set. Then going on to FNAF 2, we have the X Mart FNAF 2 Wivered Plushies. Except for Golden Freddy and Shadow Freddy, those two are planning to release soon, according to Ratty Cheese on Instagram. I'll link them down in the description below. If Instagram will let me, or I'll just tag his, you know, YouTube page, and, you know, we can go from there. But yeah, and over here we have the FNAF 2 Mystery Minis. Over here with the X Mart Funko inspired plushies for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And because, like, Funko's not going to make them ever. And perhaps X Mart probably blew them out of water, honestly. Next up here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 plushies along with the Mangle Hero World and some random merch for Five Nights at, Five Nights at Freddy's and then Toy Funtime Foxy. And we have the pin set, not pin set, but the pins for Wivered Bonnie, Wivered Chica, and Wivered Golden Freddy from Chloe's Cove and as Hot Topic Wivered Foxy pin. Then going on to FNAF 3 we have this Fredbear, Spring Bonnie. Spring Trap, Phantom Foxy, Phantom Balloon Boy, and Tie Dye Spring Trap. And alongside that, we have is the miscellaneous merch of Spring Trap with the action figure, a hero world of Phantom Foxy, and you know, Spring Trap. We have Shadow Bonnie and FNAF 3 inspired. Originally, this was a FNAF 2 mini, but but you know, like they messed up the colors and made him like Shadow Freddy's color. But this is technically in the FNAF 3 game. He's more purple in the FNAF 3 game, so I can see where, you know, that comes from. So I put him in FNAF 3. Then we have just base Springtrap merch, honestly. Then we have Chloe's Cove custom pin from for Springtrap. Then Springtrap re-release figure, work in progress. Then we have the, you know, 2-inch figure. Going down one, we have this Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This one is, I still need to get a stand for Night Mario, and it's been, I've been procrastinating on, on that way too much. But we have the Jumbo Plushies from 2021 or 2020. And we have the base 2016 Nightmare Plushies, the Nightmare Cupcake to the side. The AR sticker, which is unfortunately damaged due to me, you know, accidentally bending it. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's FNAF 4 Hero World Arcade Vinyl. Pint Size Hero of Nightmare Bonnie, Funko Racer of Fredbear, Nightmare Own, the base FNAF 4 animatronics with Jacko Chica. Yep. Then we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Mystery Minis. 
This is basically all of them, just missing Nightmare Balloon Boy and I think Plus Trap. Yeah, Plus Trap. Next off here we have is the Twisted Ones for Five Nights at Freddy's. We have is the base Twisted Mystery Mini set, except for Stanley and Ella. We have the Fetch Pin because these are book based at the moment. And we have the Puzzle in the back, the Monopoly in the front, along with the, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's cups with Stanley and Unicorn, and the other stuff for. You know, like Theodore, Wolf, and the base, the core band, with the main four. Next one up here we have is Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. So Sister Location here is just, we start off with Glow Baby, end off with Fun Time Foxy. So we have two Circus Babies, one of Laura, one of Fun Time Freddy, one of Lulbit, which is super rare. Unfortunately, mine came chipped, but it's perfectly fine. This is a super rare action figure, at least $500 now. So I'm going to try to keep it in the best condition I can. And we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Funtime Foxy action figure. Sorry, I got confused from Sister Location. Then we have the two-inch minifigures I got from Moxie. Then we have a few others with... Um, what's it called? Jump Scare Funtime Freddy and Foxy. Then Funtime Foxy and Entered Base figures... We have Jump Scare Circus Baby, Jump Scare Innard, and Jump Scare Ballora with the core mystery minis, I guess you could say, with 8-Bit Baby in the back. And then we have more of the miscellaneous characters in the back. I'm using the Lego display case from AliExpress or Walmart to, not Walmart, but like, you know, to hold it up. We have the Finance Race Hero World, I got from the Meme Scheme, the Funko Racers, Ballora over here in the Butters, for the, the Exotic Butters. Okay, so I'm going to make this relatively quick considering I'm running out of breath. But we have we have Pizza Sim over here with Freddy, Foxy, Red Lefty, and the others. This is just the main important characters, not the mediocres. Besides the Mystery Minis and the action figures for base, the original ones. We have Freddy, Foxy, Scrap Baby, Lefty, Pig Patch, Orville, and El Chip. Then for the minis, we have is the core band with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. Lefty, Scrap Baby, and Molten Freddy, Happy Frog, Ned Bear, Mr. Hippo, Orville, and a few others from Mediocre Melodies. And we have Posh Pizzeria with Helpy, Funtime Chica, Candy Cadet, and Egg Baby. Keep Egg Baby in the back because, you know, he's kind of weird looking. Going down one, we have is one Posh Pizzeria member with L Chip. Then we have all the currently released or only released Pizzeria Simulator, Funko Plushies. And we have these over here with the glow and dark minis. We have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Helpy. This one's an error. Has a top hat stuck in his head. I was like, look, look at this. This is literally a top hat that's stuck in there, like the upper part of it. Like that's a one of a kind, honestly. We have Funtime Chica, El Chip, Happy Frog, and then Pick Patch. All right, next off here we have is Curse of Dreadbear with the Dreadbear base plushies with the mini one, and we have the action figures over here too. With Captain Foxy being a Walmart exclusive, then we have the base action figures of Dreadbear, Jack of Bonnie, Grim Foxy, and Glitchtrap. Then over here we have is most of the four, three of the four reversible heads, but as nightmare versions for Help Wanted. I would say, I mean, this is more FNAF 1 and FNAF 4 inspired from the OG era, not the Help Wanted versions, but like, I keep them in here considering I don't have space to put them in with, you know, FNAF 4. And plus, Dreadbear is pretty empty as is, so I might as well. So we have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Nightmare Form. Then going up, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's Secure Reach Snaps. I still need to open Roxanne, Roxy, Helpy, and then, you know, the, 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 the Security Bot. But yeah, these are basically all the Five Nights at Freddy's Snaps so far that I own. Then going down one, we have is the Raggedy Base FNAF Secure Breach merch for the action figures are just, you know, the core five that came out along with Sun and Moon that came out later. We have the Raggedy plushies up to Vanny. Then we have all of these Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Minis. Flock Vanny at the end. We have Freddy's, Chica's, Monty's, one as an heir. We have Roxy and then Vanny. Alright, next off here we have is the Soft Finance Freddy Secure Breach Plushies. Yes, I technically bought these three times, but let, let's get into this. So, we have the Raggedy versions, the Soft versions, and the, you know, Blacklight versions. But yeah, we have the Soft Finance Freddy Secure Breach Plushies, which are a lot... I would say their, their quality is a lot better, but they're still the same quality as the originals. 
Then we have the Eclipse, Sun over here, he's new. Then we have the minifigures from the dig kits, and then the grab and goes. Then over here we have is the black lights with moon, or the blackout section with moon, whatever you want to call it. Then you have the black light slimes, the glow in the dark slimes, and then Roxy and Monty. Then down here we have is uh, Vanny and Freddy squish me. Vanny is yellowed because she was in, she was facing the sun a little bit. Then we had the Vanny statue and then Glamrock Freddy and Gregory statue. This a little this area is a little bit harder to access, but I really like these statues. They're really unique and really cool. All right, so I don't hurt my legs that much. We're gonna go over this briefly, or my back, I should say. We have is the finest phrase one 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 thousand five hundred piece Funko candy dispensers, the full set. Then we have the Finance of Freddy's Christmas plushies, all of them, including the Walmart exclusive Nutcracker Poxy, or Funko Shop exclusive at this point. We have the Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, both versions of Foxy with Gingerbread and Nutcracker Foxy. Then over here we have is Gingerbread Freddy, Streamer Bonnie, no wait, it's, it's Lights Bonnie, and then we have Streamer Chica and Candy Cane Foxy. Okay, sorry if the quality gets a little bit poor, but like we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Balloon Circus. I'm doing this standing up because it's a lot easier on my back and me. But yeah, we have this Five Nights at Freddy's Balloon Circus with the kids and balloons, kids or whatever you want to call them, to the side and the circus in the front because that's a, that's what's called Balloon Circus. I put the circus in front because it's mainly going to be circus based. So we have the main the core four. Plus Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy. Potent the two glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. FNAF Mystery Minis. For the Balloon Circus line. And we have the full wave of Mystery Minis. Except for White Balloon Freddy. Which I have him coming in the mail from Fazbear Collects. I'll link him down in the description below. Maybe. Or just keep his name in there. We have Chrome Freddy. Or Golden Freddy. That's a chrome variant or metallic variant. And we have his translucent Bonnie, Chica, and Red Foxy. Then going bottom to top, we have is the Sun and Moon Jumbo Plushies. Catnap. Then over here, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's Books and Games with the FNAF pin sets from U2s. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Exotic Beverage Cup. Then we have the Dave and Buster's FNAF cards, Freddy, Chica, and the Cupcake. Then we have all the books that I currently own, except for the coloring book. And is the coloring book is not in here, but I do have it in the how to draw. So I'm gonna do this double. So on top we have the holiday FNAF AR merch with the Five Nights at Freddy's print in the back. But this is all the holiday based merch at the moment with Firework Freddy and all of them, starting with Freddy Frostbear, but it ended basically with Firework Freddy, honestly. We have Arcade Mayhem that kind of, you know, made it basically the downfall of it because we got toy merch, but we never got the toy merch, basically. We got its recolored variants, not the actual variants afterwards, which sucks, honestly, because he's had so much potential that, you know, and Help Wanted 2 was coming out at this time, so we could have gotten some. Just a hot take of mine, but we should have gotten some. But yeah, we have Arcade Mayhem with Freddy... VR Freddy, VR Livewire Freddy. Then we have Sister Marabani, High Score Chica, Radioactive Foxy, and Toxic Spring Trap. Then we had the plushies in the back, the you know po pocket pops to the side. Then we had the mystery minis. Those those include holiday ones too. All right, next up here we have is the black light section. So I'm going to be going over this very very briefly because it's basically the same thing for two shelves. Yeah, Blue Freddy. Blue Foxy, Pink Freddy, Purple Foxy, Green Cupcake, and then Green Foxy. Well, Green Foxy, then Green Cupcake. Photo Negative Freddy, the Black Light set. These are the originals from GameStop. You can tell because Chica's yellowed. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Mystery Minis. This is a full set. This took forever to complete. And Endoskeleton, I paid the most for like 50, 70 ish dollars. 50 to 70 ish dollars. Yeah, the rest of these I got these were pretty cheap, including the high, not high score, the Blacklight Chica, which was really lucky find. I've got Freddy for like $20, $23. And we have these over here, which I got 
all originally back in the day, except for the more rare ones. But I got them all now, which is really cool. I did get the cupcake, actually, on my, well, when I first bought the box at GameStop. I actually got him when I was get, opening the boxes. It, was, it wasn't even a complete box. It was like six or eight. But he's one of the rare ones I got, which is a really lucky find because he's now like worth over $80 for some reason. Enter spring colorway we have is the, you know, same orientation as the black lights up here, except it's just, you know, different merch. We have the glow in the dark mystery minis for, you know, the OG wave with 2016 being Freddy and Chica. And we have the, you know, green add ons with Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie. And over here we have is Freddy, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, question mark slash Nightmare Springtrap. I don't know which, which one this is. Looks like a spring trap, but also looks like a Bonnie at the same time. Then we have Blacklight Chica, Nightmare Chica. Then we have the Pine Size Heroes from the Advent Calendar, the Craftables from Series 1. We have the Hero Worlds. Then going down on, we have is the Tie Dyes, which are which have the Five Nights at Freddy's Tie Dye action figures up to Spring Trap, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Spring Trap. Then we have the Pocket Pops of Freddy and Bonnie, the Jumbo Plushies of Freddy and Foxy. And over here we have is all the plushies, including Tie Dye Spring Chef, which is mostly UK exclusive. We have all of them in there. Chica's a little bit hard to see. Fun to Foxy's in there. Freddy and Bonnie is in there too, with along with Foxy and Spring Trap. All right, this one's kind of harder to access because it's a bigger shelf and I have stuff in the way. But we have the two jumbo cupcakes over here. Then down here we have is some jumbos of Vanny, Lefty, and Vanny again, blacklight versions. So then we have good stuff medium size and a small freddy then down here it's incredibly hard to see but we have the bonnie reversible heads nightmare freddy reversible heads lefty rockstar freddy is incredibly hard to see but he is in there rockstar freddy is in there trust me you gotta trust me on this one we have lefty and then 16 inch or 18 inch freddy with you know helping in the middle of the reverse jumbo reversible heads which are nightmare variants then up here we have is the five nights of freddy's jumbo Jumbo Blacklight Foxy, this is a 26 inch. Alright, so I'm making this very, very quick now because you all have seen this before. So we have is the Finite Freddy's Fanverse, the Inverted, some random Funko and Bandai merch from Ben 10 and just random Funko Pops along with Bunzo. Then over here we have is a limited edition Hex Spring Golden Bonnie, Golden Spring Bonnie, Fazbear Frights number 12, I'm at 11. Or 12, whatever you want to call it, with the 12 bucks for Fazbear Frights. Box set. We have Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica from Hex with sitting down variants. Then down here, I did this post editing last time of the last update. This is part 404. I forgot to mention that of the TFP updates, but yeah, we have all my Finance of Freddy's plushies right here. Nothing much has changed, well, a lot has changed, honestly, but it used to be hanging up, now we're just on the bottom, considering they are a lot easier on the shelf, just because, you know, it's a lot easier to store, and you can see them a lot better, to some extent, but yeah, we have the larger ones in the back, and the smaller ones in the front, for good stuff. Then down here, I'm not going to go over through all this, but up here is like FNAF 4 for UCN, no 6 in here yet, but uh, down here we have is FNAF 1 through 3. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Up here is a new, newly updated section. We have is the Finance for X-U2 standing chibi plushies. I would put a sitting ones in front of these, and it's not a bad idea, honestly. It's not a bad idea, because look how much space there is right here. I could probably put standing ones up here. Sitting, I should say. We have Glitchstrap over here. Might do that, actually. So yeah, we have Freddy, Bo Freddy Chica. Roxy and Monty, then we have Glitchtrap in the back until like, I can find a better spot to put them. Then over here we have is all my Funko Pops. These are free layers deep, so I'm not going to go into this that much, honestly. They're free layers deep, some have one section, some have two sections, some have even three sections. So now that I'm not right just in that too, but we do have a little, we do have ones that are pop protectors for the most part, and we have base ones that are not in pop protectors, pop protectors. And on the bottom, we just have random FNAF, not FNAF, but random fu random Funko Pops. Then over here, we have is the Finance Freddy's, you know, Security Breach, you know, you know, the thing from the Collector's Edition. Pin set, then we have the Finance Freddy's Security Breach Steelbook. 
then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, the Night Shift edition. This is just a basic cover, not the still book. Then over here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's fidget spinners, the Fight Line Premier Premier slash Premium set, the Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare games, the four pack of the nightmares. Going down one, we have is it four packs of the black lights times two. And we have the arcade vinyls with Fo Circus Foxy. Then we have the, you know, like the Bonnie AR card. Then we have the Finance Freddy's AR poster. Then going down on, we have a random merch. But for the time being, we have is all these Funko Pops are really hard to see up right now because, like, it's hard to access this. But, yeah, we have all my Funko sodas, my Puppy Playtime figures, my Spy X family figures, and my fairy tale figures, and then my SpongeBob, and then Dragon Ball. All right, then over here for one of the last sections we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's bookmark, the Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube plushies for FNAF One, with Golden Freddy and the puppet for FNAF Two. Technically, then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's core band, YouTube's. We have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. Then up here, I'm not trying to show outside the window or well the curtains, but we have the Foxy, you know, Foxy the Pirate Funko Racer re release. We have it's the two Five Nights at Freddy's hand puppets, the two Something Wild games, and we had the Five Nights at Freddy's piggy bank. Then going down one, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's U2's plushies with Mangle in the middle. Then we have Innerd and Circus Baby. Then we have a shoulder Secure Breach shoulder riders with the Helpy Flop. Then over here we have is the pins and the fight line figures along with the Golden, not Golden Freddy, with the Finance Freddy's Popsy for Chocolate Bonnie and then Golden Freddy Mock I made. Then over here we have is a sealed, sealed um Radioactive Foxy and sealed Santa Freddy. Not nothing much to go over over here. All right, so I'm going to do this like a two in one for this these shelves or one go like, go all in one go. But we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's U2's figures. Five Nights at Freddy's Hex plushies I currently own. I guess you can call this Fredbear's Family Diner. We have his Fredbear, Spring Bonnie, and Balloon Boy. We have the Five Nights at Freddy's Fred, Freddy Pillow Pet. Down here we have his, all the YouTubes I went over last time. And TFP Update, Update Free. Part 3 of 4. Update probably, I don't know, probably like 87 at this point. Then we have the Five Nights at Freddy's Snaps with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy. The Toys, Phantom, Springtrap. Then we have Circus Baby, and then the Nightmares from Help Haunted. Then we have the place that's in the back. Then over here we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's. You know the stuff I went over last time for up the update. But the, instead we're we have Freddy buying Chica Foxy. Then we have that over here with the sunglasses. The Five Nights at Freddy's. You know hang, hangable stuff. The plushy hangables along with the you know the bag hangables, and we have the Plus trap key ring from FNAF AR store. We have the stickers and the fright lights or mini fright lights. And we have the free hugs keychain, the Sanchi plushies. And we have all of the five, most of them. Excuse me, most of the Five Nights at Freddy's backpack danglers. I'm missing the more rare ones because those have been incredibly hard to find. And along with, alongside the Five Nights at Freddy's one re-release, ignore how dirty she goes. She got really dirty or somehow. I don't know how she got that dirty. It's like actual dirt or something like that. But yeah, we have as Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy variants, Bloom Boy variants, Puppet, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Spring Trap. And it just goes on from there to Security Breach to Wave 1. Then Security Breach Series 2 of, you know, vanning from Wave 1. And we have V's over here. Then it just goes all the way over here. Quite a lot, honestly. Then going down one, we have is the Five Nights at Freddy's. Just bigger pop stuff, I guess you could say. We had the Foxy Pop and Tea and the Freddy and Bonnie 2 pack. Then going down here, we have Funko Shop exclusive 4 pack for the Five Nights at Freddy's Pez. And then the 4 individual packs is the Five Nights at Freddy's. Misprinted Chica, Misprinted Toy Chica, and Nightmare Chica 2 pack. Okay, now we're getting to a bit excessive parts, but we have this the Five Nights at Freddy's Sun and Moon. You know, YouTube's plush, which I still need to display, along with my Finance Freddy's card book. That will be a separate video. 
All right, last but not least, we have is well, probably least, honestly, we have the FNAF AR, Finance Freddy's, Chocolate Freddy t shirt with the free hugs. This is literally the free hugs t shirt. So freaking weird, but like, hey, it's cool, honestly. It's still sealed too, which is very rare, I'd say. Because like, no one bought this and it's still sold out. It's from 2022, oddly. Oh, yeah, this is during like FNAF's, you know, like AR Prime, I guess you could say. But yeah, I do have other merch I need to display, so let's conclude the video, and then I'll make a whole video after this video, and I'll schedule that, but yeah, let's end off the video. Alright everyone, so that is it for this video, I want to thank you all so very much for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, I'll see you guys next time, and yeah, the next room tour will be in August, so expect a lot more reviews and stuff like that, so I don't have to, you know, like... I'm not going to do this every month. It's going to be every two months. So the next one will be in August, which is technically three months, like August 8th. But still, I want to save that for the 10th anniversary with the Ruin merch and all that. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And yeah, bye.